the meander as a symbol of ancient Greece and the chiron or the meander handle. Now we'll see, we'll notice that we have a lot of these Greek meanders, these, uh, this thing circulating as we'll see on top here on the frieze. We have them in uh, India, uh, sorry, in India, China, also the American, Native American Indians, headband and uh, uh, costume uh, designs. Uh, this is the handle, as you can see, he's holding both hands, basically what you use in wrestling. Um, and uh, we see them in various cultures around the world. The meander of ancient Greece, the most ancient Greek symbol, the meander is a symbol of victory and unity, a symbol of infinite infinity and eternal life, but also of our ex a eternal course, course in the world, inspired according to some academics by the numerous turns of the river Meander, which has a total length of over 500 kilometers, will be one of the most historic symbols of the Greek world and will be called the Greek key, as it states the Greek origin of all of things that carry, uh, carry them. Now, it may have been used as a symbol mainly in decoration, but it is essentially a Greek seal and a key. In most ancient Greek objects bearing the design of the meander, as a figure, it will not be missed from the Acropolis either. It may be a product of prehistoric times, but it will be reborn and make its original but not unique form during the geometric times. Meander is a symbol of all Greeks, as it will be used pottery in pottery, temples, monuments, sculptures, objects, weapons of armor, clothing, all lengths and breadths of the Greek world and other cultures. Now, the same figure exists in famous shield of Philip II. It, was, it, had, it appeared in the Byzantine civilization and through the Roman Empire. And the meander is therefore one of the leading Greek symbols, which was used in the most important periods of Greek history. The sense of infinity, of infinity on the one hand, but also of accuracy and completeness on, completeness on the other, characterized Greek culture. And although from classical antiquity, the meander represented the artistic expression of the quintessence of ancient Greek thought, harmonious identification of opposites to the highest possible degree. In ancient times, this symbol represented the endless flow of time and the completeness of repetitive time cycles. Water as a source of life from the river Meander, today's Turkish name Menderes, and the inevitable withering death, which is also the birth of a new beginning the enigmatic and unknown adventures of fate and the movement in a specific direction from the point of birth and starting to the wide horizons of the unknown, a parallel with the course of Hellenism throughout the world. And in the mythical choice of Hercules, the difficult path of virtue in contrast to evil, which was straight and a meandering shape with meander symbolizing the structured difficulties of life, which is called to overcome by sharpening one's spirit to approach the ideal. It's noteworthy that the meander is a widespread symbol, both geographically and chronologically, which is detected where European type culture has appeared. It's presented in the majority of ancient works of art, in pottery, buildings, inscriptions, and the meander, or otherwise the Greek key, was and is a symbol of our eternal life and eternal passage to this world, and the most important presence of the meander is that in the genetic material, the meander spiral. The term meander in Greek key means in architecture and archaeology, the ribbon decoration, composition of straight lines that are joined together at right angles or intersected diagonally, and the meaning motif, the various variations, was often used in antiquity to decorate the frieze of temples, its variant is the meander using spiral repeating patterns and the Vitruvian elix, a repeating circvilinear circ wavy pattern. The oldest monuments in which this linear jewel is first found are many tombs in Asia Minor and in fact the so-called tomb of Midas in Pyrgia, whose stone facade is completely decorated with meanders it's also found on vessels of the geometric era, where it seems to be an evolution of the continuous spiral of the Mycenaean times. Typical examples of this theme during the period are provided by the so-called vessels of Dipilos, which are exhibited in the Archaeological Museum of Athens. 
The meander, which is presented on other vessels, originally had the form of a simple broken line, the sections of which are directed horizontally and vertically alternately, alternately, alternately. And during the Hellenistic period, this type became more complex. The broken line was doubled and the form squares that are formed between the lines and moments or crosses or other similar subjects were paid. However, this linear shape is used not only for the decoration of vases, but also for temples and for clothing. In the temples, it was decorated with meander, usually colored, uh, the entablutures, the capes, the panels of the roof, and the columns, and the garments, the fringes. We see this, as we said before, in uh, Latin America. Uh, we also see it on the clothing and uh, headbands of the American Indians, the Native Americans, and we also see it all over the place in China. Now, the daughters of the Acropolis provide a nice example uh, of the meander on their clothing, the archaic porcelain marble female statues found in the Acropolis Museum, the Vestal Virgins. The veil worn by these figures was decorated on the fringes with other colored jewelry, crosses, rosettes and flowers, and meanders. And this geometric shape was maintained during the Alexandrian era and was transmitted to Italy. Alexander the Great, that is. Now, early meander is characterized by many vessels found in Villanova, on which the meander is still simple and heavy, lacking the beauty that characterizes the double meander, known today as swastika of Greek art. So the swastika is actually an ancient Greek symbol. It's a double meander. Now, the, chron the chiron, or the meander handle, a mortal who defeated a goddess and married her is the king of Thea, Peleas, once in the moonlight, he saw a broad go a goddess dancing with the daughters of the waters, the Nereids, later fairies. It was the goddess Thetis that the prophecy of Prometheus forced her to marry a mortal so that he would not be born who would overthrow the almighty Zeus. Peleus was oppressed by the divine beauty, and but could how could this mortal acquire Thetis, who was a goddess? But he asked about this to the wise the, uh, the wise Chiron who lived high in Pelion, and he rushed him to the same place as if he saw her dancing at night, grabbed her as tightly as possible with his arms. He said, "Do not leave the handle as long as it changes forms, even if it becomes a snake, a lion, or fire, water, or escape." So, in other words, Peleus grabbed Thetis with this type of a handle. Okay, his two hands locked together like that, so she wouldn't escape him. Peleus, in his passion for the goddess, overcame and defeated all her angry transformations, holding her with a handle tightly in his arms. This magnificent theme is beautifully reflected in the interior of a red figure goblet of 500 BC, now housed in the West Berlin Museum. This magnificent depiction shows Peleus defying the serpents and the divine transformation that bit him everywhere, as well as the lion that growls hooked on his back, Peleus defeats the beautiful goddess using the Chiron handle, the meander, the famous ancient Greek symbol. The hand grip was gone down in history, has gone down in history, and is still used in the sporting wrestling to tie one opponent to the other. Dictionaries indeed insist that the stereotype that meander is the decorative shape reminiscent of the maneuvers of the Caria Meander River, where it was first found and from which it took its name. It may have taken its name from the river near which it was found, but it's utterly foolish to believe that these Greek-founded finds all over the world passionately depict the graces and maneuvers of an unknown river. Uh, special, perhaps the most sacred and emblematic emblem of the god-fighting Greek heroes. The meander handle, as it was rightly called, is used repeatedly in the eminently god-fighting Hercules, as is, as is clear from the masterpiece depiction of Hercules' fight with Triton in the Angiography of 550 BC. It's in the Museum of Tarquinia, uh, which, however, can be admired in the 30th volume of Greek Myths by R. Graves, page 217, where we see Triton struggling in vain to open the fingers of the invincible hero locked with the meander in front of his chest. Now, the obvious relationship between decorative meander and the meandering handle can be easily seen in the complex of Peleus and Thetis, where the value of this handle in the center of the performance is overemphasized, crowned all around by the now-formed meandering symbolism. It shows also to be coincidence 
that many angiographies that allude to divine defeat are often crowned with a meander. So we therefore conclude that the widespread use of the above meandering symbolism in antiquity is by no means accidental. It was a timeless gift of mythological times in the classical and modern times of the Mediterranean descendants of the Greeks, a linear order of our ancestors from the battle against the impossible. So a wonderful schematic reminder that in both your hands you hold the secret of victory, and if only yours are not enough, then unite them with others in a harmonious inseparable ensemble of a Greek victorious meandering chain. And this I've translated for you from a Greek article. Now you know what the meander symbol means. Okay, thank you for your support and please leave your comments. Thank you. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.